This is Twit. Don in Huntington Beach, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Don. Hi, Leo. Thanks for taking my call. I am getting ready to do some remodeling in my house, um, move a few walls and some things like that. And it uh, got me to thinking about uh, taking the opportunity to make it maybe a little bit more of a uh, put some product in to make it more of an intelligent home where I can uh, control the lights or the air conditioning, certain appliances. And um, so I thought I'd ask you if there's any particular product that I might want to take a look at or at least start with to um, go down this path. Uh, It's not a real old home. It was built in 86, but it's not wired in any way except for uh, cable outlets in in the various uh, rooms, uh, bedrooms and family rooms. And I don't know if everything is wireless now or not. It's pretty much wireless. The good news about smart home, home automation, is that you don't need a lot of bandwidth. It's it's pretty low bandwidth if you think about it. It's commands to turn on, to open, to close. It's not, uh, you know, a lot of data going across. So you don't need Ethernet. So almost everybody has solved this problem wirelessly. Okay, great. So I wouldn't worry too much. I would put, you know, if you got the walls open, put uh, the best quality ethernet in the wall you can because that is the high bandwidth way to transport data and you know you may have at some point or the buyer the next buyer of the house may at some point want to put a movie server in one closet and have the television set in another part of the house and doing that wirelessly with high quality video 4k video is not practical so you'd want ethernet uh, you know, those are those are the kind of little things. As long as you got it open, that it's not a bad thing to put in. But for home automation, uh, you know, it's all wireless these days, and that's the that's the good thing. Now, I have to say, home automation is uh, still kind of in a state of flux, very early stages. There, you know, I mean, X10 has been around for more than twenty years, but it, but it, but nothing has really dominated the market so you've got a variety of different standards you've got insteon and zigbee and z-wave and nothing has really um stuck uh, there are devices like smart things at smartthings.com that unify these i'm very interested to see what apple can do google made some noises about simplifying home automation but it hasn't done anything to date apple sounds like they really want to move in on this market that would be an interesting thing, although I fear, I would hope that Apple wouldn't do something that requires Apple gear. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, the only reason you would need wiring in the walls is for distribution of video, high-quality high video. Everything else is can go wirelessly. Any, any particular software product to tie this, any of this together? I think I... No, and the good news, no, you don't have to worry about it yet. Um, because there's nothing that's dominant. I Like I said, I like the Smart Things Hub, and okay. I would look at that, smartthings.com. It's totally wireless, uh, but what Smart Things has done is they've made a lot, they make a hub that you buy, and then they've got a lot of modules you can attach to it, and that includes things like unlocking doors, opening garages, turning on lights, motion sensors, music, uh, the hue lights, the colored LEDs from Philips, all of that. And that all starts with that hub, that smart, and which I think is pretty cool. But I also am nervous because I feel like this is really early days. And nothing has yet dominated the market. We want, ideally, you'd have, you'd have an open standard nobody owns that, that everybody supports. We don't have that yet. Right, right. But so if you've got the if you got the walls open, I would put Cat Six in. That's exp- it, most expensive kind of Ethernet cable, but eventually can support ten gigabits per second. That's plenty. That's a gigabyte a second. We've got that in our uh, studios here. In fact, we were very pleased. We when we upgraded when we moved into the uh, Tech Guy Labs, we took out the old Cat Five cable that was in there, and, and at great expense, it cost us because we have a lot of space, ten thousand square feet to wire, cost us about thirty grand to replace the Cat Five with Cat Six, and we're glad we did now because we're about to upgrade to a very fast ten gigabit switch, so we can move video around, and uh, we just tested it uh, on Friday or. Thursday, we just tested the uh, wiring, and yes, we're capable of sending 10 gigabits a second. That's about a gigabyte a second of data, more than enough to do high-def video, even 8K video. And that's good news. 
That's good news. That means that that's future proofing. Nothing's going to work forever. I don't recommend putting fiber in the wall. That's too expensive, especially for the switches. But if you put Cat 6 in, you don't have to put the switches in yet. That's the most expensive part of it. You can wait down the road when you when you need it. And as for home automation, I think it's all wireless. I really do. I think it's all wireless. Now, I, I, it's a, I think an area that we're going to want to start to cover a little bit better. I haven't spent a lot of time on it because it does seem so fragmented. But Apple's really uh, getting me excited. And I have to say, the smart things I, I, is new, and I just started playing with it, and I'm pretty impressed because it does seem to support all the existing standards um, with one unified hub. So it could be used for home security, but it can also be used for entertainment. The hub is only 100 bucks, And the, and, and the ni other nice thing about it, of course, then you have to buy additional modules. But the other nice thing about it is it's both iOS and Android. And I, I'm not sure what Apple's going to do, but I'm a little worried that what Apple's going to end up doing is something that is iOS only. Put in Cat6 and uh, let the rest go wireless. That would be my recommendation. Now, <laughs> years ago, I got this. I would get this call very frequently. And I'd say, oh, yeah, you definitely should put some Ethernet, Cat5 Ethernet in the walls. And then Wi-Fi took off, and it kind of eliminated the need for that, at least for Internet. But now, uh, I feel like um, because of high-def video, we're, spending, we're, we're, we're more interested. Wireless is not good for high-def, super high-def, especially ultra high-def. So I'm thinking more and more that we, want, we do want to put some high-speed copper in the wall.